Heather, how's Egypt? It looks amazing on social media. It's been a good time. It's been pretty amazing. We're happy to be here. And actually, we fly out tomorrow to Turkey. So it's been great. Why choose these specific countries of Egypt, Turkey, and Greece? Yeah, I think it's just a great combination of different culture, different parts of the world, somewhat uh, close together where we could do some some flights that weren't too bad and, and be able to see very, very different cultures from Egypt to Turkey and then Greece and get some different food, get some different volleyball. Uh, and so far, you know, Egypt hasn't disappointed. It's been it's been pretty fantastic. The people here have been wonderful. And uh, we're looking forward to to getting hit up to other countries. More on the trip coming up in a moment, but let's talk about the news of the day. Of course, the conference schedule is out, which is exciting. We've been waiting for BYU to be in the Big 12. Here we are. You've seen this for a minute. So what stuck out when you first saw it? And what do you what do you like? And and what kind of has your attention? Yeah, I think it's super exciting to release the Cougar Nation and the public, you know, what what our fall is going to look like at home and away and get people excited about traveling with us and and possibly coming to the Smithfield house and seeing us play at home. I think just the opportunity to play new teams and new places and, and learn about the style of plays is exciting. I think that that's the number one thing that sticks out is just a new challenge for us with all these teams and figuring out, you know, how we can compete with them. And for sure, being able to play the defending national champs, Texas is always a highlight. And so I think that's really neat for our team to be able to get to Austin and, and play matches out there. In terms of how it uh, shook out, you play some teams once, some teams twice. What's kind of been the explanation from the league as to how that shook out? Yeah, I, I've only been on one phone call, and it was more of a, hey, the, the new teams can sit in and listen, and we weren't a part of those conversations at all. I, I, I don't even know why they went to that format, and so we're excited to, to play you know, home and away with, with who we've got on our schedule. And that'll change the following year when, when two members exit the conference and we'll, we'll have a different look and format. And we haven't been given any word on what that looks like. So I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's unique. It's going to be a challenge uh, just the way that, you know, you're not playing everyone the same amount of times and home and away. It's, I think it's going to be interesting for our team and for, for our fans to, to follow along. Uh, Houston on September 20th as the opener is really fun. That's a team that, uh, you know, finished 17th in the country last year, Baylor number 15 on, uh, you know, a couple days later. So out of the gate, you, you play some great volleyball and the West coast conference has had tremendous volleyball. And now you kind of up the ante a little bit with the national champs and a few more teams that kind of bring it week to week, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're excited just to, to get these new teams in the Smithfield house and open up with Houston. I think that's a great match for us to, have our debut match and to welcome Houston and, and go from there and then get Baylor, like you said. So there's a lot of good teams in the big 12 and we're going to have our hands full and we're excited for the challenge and we're ready to, to see how our team fares against them. Uh, end of the season at West Virginia at TCU. This is going to be a different kind of travel than you've had, right? Going into LA and San Francisco and Portland and so on. Absolutely. We're, we're fired up. We get to spend, Thanksgiving on the road and I don't know there's no better place than to be with your team at that time of a year you know hopefully getting ready to finish out the year strong and um, make a run in, in, in the conference and hopefully in the NCAA tournament so no complaints there excited again to see different parts of the country and to be together and um, I think it'll be exciting. A foreign trip doesn't mean you're gonna have a good year but for some reason it seems like you always have a good year when you have a foreign trip like the chemistry of being off the court and going somewhere else so is this the perfect year to have a foreign trip, the first year in the Big 12? Yeah, there's there's multiple reasons. You know, we had four freshmen graduate early and, and get with us in January, and we're adding a couple more freshmen and transfers. And so the opportunity for us to mesh, you know, we've got everyone here, but, but one player that will join us in the fall. And so just to be with each other and to get to know each other better in very unique circumstances and have those conversations and those experiences, that's going to serve us well. So yeah, it's, it seems like teams have good years after. I, I know it's not a guarantee, but you just get a jump start on that connection and, and getting ready for the fall. And, and we're hoping that, that that's what does it for this this group. And this trip has been postponed because of COVID. And we just felt like this, these seniors, you know, it was the right time with the combination of the freshmen and the new players to, to get this opportunity to come experience foreign foreign countries and foreign you know teams and, and really challenge ourselves. Okay, you guys did something really cool that we talked about on the, on the show on Monday, which is the three graduates who missed graduation. 
Um, yeah. You packed their graduation stuff and took a photo in front of the uh, one of the pyramids. That is so awesome. What was that moment like? Yeah, you know, those three have been with us since January, so they've already graduated high school, but they, ha- they still have the opportunity. They're all three local players. Uh, they actually walk next week. And the dates ended up that they they would be missing that to be with our group. And we felt it was really important to 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 give them this opportunity to take some pictures that, you know, they maybe are missing out on at at a stadium or with their their friends and peers and family, which they hopefully still get at a different time and do something special and unique. I, I don't know, Jerem, there's something about that moment for those players and our our staff and team to see. And to know that everyone here is sacrificing a little bit. It's a long trip. We're all sacrificing to be here. Um, but they sacrificed something that was important to them. And we wanted to make sure they were seen and heard. And uh, it was really, really a cool moment. Real Miller, Mia Lee, and, uh, of course, Selena Damuni. So yep. that nice nice job uh, to uh, to them. Yeah, Mia. Um, okay, Turkey and Greece. What are you guys going to see there? And uh, you mentioned you played the Egyptian national team already. How would the match go, by the way? Yeah, we played last night, and uh, it was great. Uh, it was unbelievable. Uh, they have some great players. They have uh, an Olympian that plays sand that was on their indoor team and was there last night. They're, they were actually missing a couple players that are that are D1 players that play in college. But they're they're older. They're mature. They they have some swag, and you know they they were ready for us. And uh, we didn't we haven't practiced and done anything since last Tuesday. So we we loved the opportunity to get out there. Warm-ups are different here. They're about 15 minutes. You don't get your typical serve pass. And mm. we love we love the pace. It was it was unique. It was challenging. Uh, they really served and passed well. And so it was a good opportunity for us to, to play our first match uh, on this trip. And I thought our our players did a good job sticking together. And we're we're with them in a couple sets, but um, they're a good team and it was fun. In Turkey and Greece, give, give me a little tease, a little sense of what you guys are going to do. Yeah, we're, we're actually going to go visit uh, some younger refugee athletes in some areas. I don't know that we'll post that stuff, but we get a chance to interact with some some refugees in, in, in Turkey and, and do some work there as soon as we land tomorrow. And then we actually have three matches in our, a row against some of the, the pro teams in, in Turkey, which will be really good for our group to, to play some of the, the best teams in the world. And uh, they happen to be in, in Turkey, and that's going to be really cool for our players to match up against some some professional players and we'll see some you know mosques and and see some of the sites of istanbul and really get to experience the culture and the food there and greece same thing we're going to play the u19 team their national u19 team and we're going to see some different cities a little bit outside of athens and um we're going to do a yacht we're going to take a, a cruise or a yacht have a yacht day and go out to see some islands um so you guys roll cool. It's going by, yeah, it's going by so fast. And so we're, we're, we're just kind of trying to soak it in as best we can. Well, uh, congrats on uh, getting the Big 12 schedule. And, uh, you know, now I know what I'm doing this fall, uh, which is exciting. We look forward to it, of course, on ESPN Plus and whatnot. That all has to be shaken out a little bit. But uh, when can we expect the non-conference schedule to come out, by the way? Yeah, I think pretty quickly uh, after this gets released, we're still shoring up a few things but we're excited about that i think uh there's going to be some interest in our opening match so we're we'll put that little teaser out there and uh hope to get that out soon so we can get excited about that but i think within a couple weeks after we get back sometime in june okay awesome uh safe travels and have fun thanks thanks thank you all thanks for having me Technology.